day everyone welcome to my channel i'm going to do a um <laughs> try and do a walkthrough of my latest album um it is it is a monster um it was inspired by um diane at scrap clean so i'll leave her details down below um she did it with her own paper collection and it was phenomenal but um i'd been i'd had the alice in wonderland um, papers and the um, Alice in Through the Looking Grass papers from Stamperia for a while and I'd been trying to think about how I was doing it and I'd, you know, ideas had tossed through my head and I knew I wanted a box within a box and all of that kind of stuff and then when um, Diane put hers up I was like, cool. So I've taken it, I've been inspired by it and then I've added to it, okay, um, which is kind of usually what I do. Um, so yeah, so I um I want to thank her for giving me the the, the um the inspiration, and a lot of a lot of the internal construction is from her tutorials, and she, I just love listening to her. She she has some great stories. Um, okay, so let's have a look. <laughs> let's have a look at the answer. I I don't want to know how much this weighs. Um, it would it'd be a few kilos. So it's a bit. All right. So we've got the top, um, I wanted to have obviously red roses and then I wanted some white roses in there because you've got to paint the, the roses red. Um, and then, um, yeah, so <laughs> I will eventually pull it apart so you can have a look closer at it. And then it comes over, um, I'm gonna, the ribbon is on just for security, um, it is all magnetised, but um, <laughs> You kind of sit there and go, mm, just because I've got to take it to the craft fair um, today. So I was like, I just wanted the ribbon on there for extra security. Okay. Then we've got first box. So we've got an acetate window here. First window, acetate window here. Wonderland. Okay, so we've got a few of them. And then, then we've got... Second window here. So these have all been done, um, like I've kind of used deck punch styles. I've got on top of each other and stuff, so it's got a bit of a 3D element to it. I've layered images on top of each other. Um, three. And then. Uh, So they're, they're the outsides of the um, box. Alright, so I'm going to take the lid off so I can show it to you better and it'll, the first thing will collapse. I'm just going to move it out of the way. Okay. So this is the <laughs> like mission. Mission! Alright, this is the lid. It's easier to move when I've got it. Alright, so in amongst the flowers I've got like a um, mirror fr frame, little teacup, there's um, a little clock, I think there's a little heart, a key, I'm trying to remember the different things that I've put in here, I think that's, I think that's it. So all of that, with that, and then this is the um, box construction, uh, the lid construction, this is all magnetised to help hold up the sides. And then we've got a little image in there. Okay, so that's the lid. <sighs> that's the easy part. Okay, then we've got those sides had collapsed down when we moved the lid because obviously the magnets have gone. Um, I'm just going to remove this box. Okay, so this is the, the first one. Um, so we've got it here. So it's just um, some different, these are the 8x8 eight eight, um, papers. And they just so you, I used four packets of the 12 by 12 and one each of the 8 by 8s. Um, now I had quite a lot of leftover like cut bits. So things like this where I've used my like a different um, printable digital because I wasn't sure how many papers I'd have. I think you could get away with not having them um, if you piece together bits. So, gives a bit of an idea, but there was a lot of paper in this, um, which is not surprising when you see how big it is. 
Okay, so that is um, this one here. It gives this. Um, sh I'll show you a little bit closer now what these look like now that I can pick it up. So there we go. So we've got the little bit of 3D-ness and stuff. So they're all kind of layered on top of each other. So that is that one. I'm going to get rid of this. So this is this could just be used as a box um, on its own, but um, I wanted to. I don't know. I just you know. Me and my ideas, let's put it that way. I knew I wanted to do some kind of 3D acetate window stuff. So that's kind of where I went. All right. So let's get on to the rest of the box. So this is the rest of the box. This all is one piece now. Um, so it doesn't come apart. So this is going to get interesting. All right. So this is, there we go. So we're going to, there's the first drop down. Okay, we will have a look here at first one. So this comes out. These are pretty much um, for the letter, the same as uh, Diane's. Um, I was like, I had enough thoughts in my head. All right, the dog's chasing the cat. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit um, so you can see these. Okay, um, but they look completely different using different papers, of course. So. There we go. So we've got a little um, puck spot there. There we go. Um, I tried to do use the cards on each one for this layer. It was all about the different um, suits of the cards. So that's kind of where I went. And this was this paper pack was mostly the original Alice in Wonderland one. So we've got some side pockets and then a waterfall. It will continue to go, maybe. So th this one obviously is all hearts and then a little pocket there. Okay, so that is the first insert. Um, and then it opens up this way. We've got another pocket here, a puck spot there. And these are all um, tuck spots too, so we can get in and um, use, put stuff behind this if we wanted to as well. Okay, there we go. All right, now it's getting it back in, of course. Okay, let's go around to the next one. We'll go spades. Okay, spades, little teacup. and always try to work out how I have done this how have I done there we go look at that there we go oh look I forgot to put stuff on the back it's okay I will do that okay there we go so this one comes out and opens up first like this some little tuck spots and pockets there and um, then it will open this way and it will open this way and again, more tuck spots and pockets on this side. So lots of room there for photos and stuff. And then in here, we've got some booklets. So we've got this one, which will open up like that. It's a Cheshire cat. More about the Cheshire cat. There we go. And these are little pockets as well in that booklet. Okay. So that's that one. And I hope you're in for a long one today because, um, yep. Um, this the lid now I was going to put papers on in the inside and I ended up not putting papers on on the inside because it um, was too thick so I needed to make a choice and I kind of went no uh, it's just the lid so okay 
then we go into this one here. So diamonds. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. We've got a little hidden tuck spot there. And opens up. Their tuck spots again. So that you can put your picture right behind it. Okay, opens up. And these are tuck spots over here. And then we've got down, up. Down, up, and then a whole lot of just loose stuff in there. So that is that one. The collection comes with a lot of, um, you know, cut aparts and journaling and stuff. So there was heaps, heaps to choose from. So I could have made photo mats and stuff with my spare, the leftover papers, but to be honest, <laughs> I didn't want to at the end of this. I was tired, and. Um, it was she's thick and chunky already so I kind of left it with you know what is there is enough okay can put something in behind there if you want to but why would you when this is a little frame okay so you can put a little frame in here and then she will open up let's pull her out down here is a little pocket this is a little tuck spot and then a whole bunch of stacked pockets here and a little belly bed at the back so that is that one so you can see here things like this uh, I used a um, digital collection but I think you could get away with just using um, a bit of plain cardstock and the papers and just piecing together bits and you would be fine and then obviously the flap again is very similar stuff all right so that is first layer layer number one okay let's go back to the box within box box inception all right okay next box this is more designed to be through the looking glass okay I should can I show you the outsides I didn't show you the outsides oh, I'm such a bad walkthrough person all right yeah, this is the outsides of the big box. There we go. Alice. There we go. I need to get that corner. There we go. Alright. There we go. Two. So this is stuck down. So we've got Queen Alice. There we go. Oh, one's already popping out. There we go. And there we go. <laughs> the mission, I'm telling you. Okay. Alright. So these will pop down now. So this is the next layer. So these are all little inserts as well. Oh, what did I lose? Oh, my little butt. Okay. Alright, so this will come out. And we've got... Um, what am I doing? Opens up, same as before, little tuck spot there, just flat here. Every one of them has a little pull out, so pull out like that. And then a little pocket. So I'm not going to pull everyone out of their pocket from now on because you'll, um, You'll see what it does. This one pops up like that. Okay. All right. Let's pull out this one. So there you go, Humpty Dumpty. Look at me, I didn't come, oh yeah I did, I was like I didn't decorate it, yeah I did, <laughs> I had a moment because of the way I pulled it out, and these are little frames, so you can stick in a picture in behind that, so there we go, tea party, okay, this one, 
Okay, so this is a never-ending card, which is going to be interesting of me trying to remember how to do it. So we've got a little never-ending card. There we go. So that is that one. This one for this one this one okay then we've got this one which is just a little booklet that's got a secret little compartment little page okay and then on this side as well okay that was fun these were um things that diane did it was good to try different things okay let's get on to <laughs> The next box, okay, next box, outside of it, let's just take the lid off, okay, is, this one's all about happy on birthday, happy on birthday to you, and what I've done, I'll show you what I've done on each of these sides, so they're little pockets, um, But these are little calendar pockets, so I've just put them all in um, six months on each side for people to use as they wish. Um, I thought it'd be good to actually write down people's birthdays, but yeah, <laughs> not their own birthdays. Um, that was probably what I had a lot of leftovers of, was that piece of car, uh, paper because I couldn't utilise it all that much. Oh, no, I let's get that right i didn't want to utilize it all that much but you could replace bits of it in here with that background okay all right so then this pops up and pops out okay and then how am i going to show this this is going to be interesting um okay so we've got little pop outs so these are all of the cards so again, I went with sweets, so that was clubs. I oh, know I didn't. I thought I did, but I didn't. Um, there we go. So just little pop-outs. You can put your picture there. So that's that one. Okay. <laughs> We're going to hit my camera, I'm sure of it. So this one comes out. And this is the chessboard. And there's your little images there. There's only so much I can do. <laughs> then, ah, last one. Okay, we didn't quite hit the camera, but we come close. Okay, is this one here, which is going to go out of focus a little bit, but we've got a little lid here with a red rose, some glitter spray, some hearts, and then I, I kind of sit there and imagine, could imagine, you know, if someone was romantic enough. You could buy this as an engagement present if so, the person, like, as a way to propose and have the ring in the middle of it and have, like, all of the story of your relationships and stuff. I don't know. But, there you go. So that is, that is the, um, the box within a box within a box within a box within a box of um so box inception um think as i said really need to go if you're interested in making albums honestly you have to check out diane it's scrap clean she is her tutorials are awesome well no she won't call them tutorials because she doesn't do tutorials she you just go along with her and um she just has a chat and makes it up on the spot so for most of the part which is awesome. Okay. There we go. I'm not going to try and put the big box back on the outside because that's like work. All right. Thank you very much for um, watching this. Um, obviously, this album is for sale. Um, if you're interested, give me a buzz. Well, not give me a buzz, but you know, 
email that stuff down below. And um, yeah, thank you very much. And I will see you in the next one. As always, remember, be kind, be strong, be aware. I'll see you later. Bye.